Uh, Dr. Michaels, uh, you wish to respond? Yeah, I think it's time to uh, actually take a good, clear look at the effect at the effect of policies with regard to the Paris Agreement. Uh, the EPA uses a model called the Model for the Assessment of Greenhouse Gas-Induced Climate Change. And if you're following, the acronym for that model is MAGIC. It is the standard tool that is used. And you can put in emission scenarios, climate sensitivity, and come out with a temperature saving as a result of any given policy. So let's assume a sensitivity that is probably too high, three degrees Celsius, and let's reduce United States emissions to zero right now through the year 2100. The amount of warming that would be prevented would be between one-tenth and two-tenths of a degree Celsius. Now let's talk about China and India candidly rather than merely using adjectives and adverbs. The Chinese emission commitments at the Paris Agreement are nothing but business as usual. It has long been recognized as their economy matures that their emissions will stabilize around 2030, and that is precisely what they said they would do. The Indian commitment is less than nothing. As economies mature, the amount of CO2 you emit per unit GDP declines. It's called an increase or a decrease in emissions intensity. They vowed in Paris to decrease their emissions intensity less, underline less, than the business as usual scenario for the country of India. So really, what we do doesn't mean anything to these other countries because they're not doing anything.